as a main architect of what we now know in the 21st century as bluegrass. Tony Rice helped lay that modern foundation, take, took what had originally been uh, kind of portrayed as bluegrass and updated it, changed it for his own sort of purpose, but also kept it accessible for guitar players like me, made it interesting for, for kids like me. And, uh, but just as, a, as an influence on the music as a whole, to kind of describe him as just a good guitar player is kind of limiting. He, he was such, a, he was such a, a nice, sweet guy. I mean, his, he, he had such a gentle spirit, and it was really warm and uh, kind and very intelligent and funny, kind of, kind of silly in a way. I got to record a duet with him. I, I made an album of all duets. with. I was fortunate to do that with a lot of my guitar heroes. And I just remember the night that, that we got together in a studio in Asheville and just thinking Tony Rice drove three and a half hours to come hang out with me and, uh, and we got to play some tunes and I'm literally just sitting right across you know, from him and, uh, and we just did a lot of talking and, and, and a lot of playing and, and you know, there wasn't a lot of talk about what we would play. We would just sort of call some tunes and, and, and go and it felt really you know, non-professional. <laughs> you know, it was just an opportunity to to kind of capture a moment with a guy like that that was that was really casual and uh, it was, I mean it was sort of work but that's part of what we have here especially in the world of bluegrass when you're it's a tight-knit community and and work will oftentimes feel like just hanging out and having fun and that's what that night was for me and again with Tony it's just there's this soul within within the world of fairly simplistic acoustic music this real sort of adherence and resonance with the soul of what's going on and, and, and the soul of what's going on in an ensemble and how to not just support people with good timing and the right chords in the right spot, but, but a, a heavy vibe and, a, and, a, and an energy that, that makes everything better. It brings, he brings the best out of everybody else and that's what I want to do. And also realize that, <clears throat> um, you know, as he had been out of touch with a lot of folks for the last few years, just made me that much more grateful for the time that I did have with him. And that's what sort of continues to kind of resonate is just really just a lot of thankfulness. The main thing I love about Port Tobacco in, in putting this song together for this project uh, and, and listening, listening to lots of songs and knowing all these songs in the first place, but just trying to figure out what's, what's one song that sort of captures the essence, which is sort of impossible with a guy like Tony Rice. But with Port Tobacco, you have a real string band kind of energy that's progressive, that involves more sort of, you know, sort of traditional jazz changes in the main head. Uh, and then there's this sort of blowing section over A minor uh, and, and sort of D major. And it's, at the end of the day, still it's, it's, there's this sort of essence of this, this bluegrass kind of energy. So to me, it kind of captured, at least for the, the scope of Tony's guitar playing, this sort of balance of, to me, what is something that I really, lo really love in his playing, which is this, uh, this heart and soul from more of a traditional perspective with this, you know, avant-garde kind of looking forward sort of almost, you know, jazz kind of sensibility. And I just, I love the thought of those two things kind of existing uh, together, and this tune seems to do that. Mm -hmm. 